Hey guys, here's uh, my town square. I'm going to show you a really quick thing today. What happens when you have a giant town and you have to populate it with NPCs really quickly. So I've got all these wildcard NPCs over here. I'm going to show you how these work, but I've got different ones for different things, right? If I want to put a Goliath down, I can, and they come in different sizes. Or they, they come in the large size, but, but different skins. I can put a mage down. Uh, I can... Um, but a cook over in my kitchen and you see they just kind of randomly change really easy to do uh, throw a bartender in the back very different bartender just delete them try them again maybe i want to put a fighter over here and then maybe i just want some general npcs around you know maybe i want a peasant um just who knows any kind of npc um Maybe an unseen servant or two. All that look different. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this today. And uh, and we're basically not going to use any modules. We're just going to use the wildcard function. Uh, it's, a, it's a function within Foundry. It's super easy to use. So the first thing you have to do is create an actor. In this case, let's say I've created an actor called uh, Goliaths. And when you open that actor up, go to the prototype token and go to appearance and you'll find this image path here and you're going to click on that image path and it's going to bring you to a folder that you're going to have set up now let me just walk you through my folder and by the way all these npcs that you see here these are all free i offer these for free you can download them uh, from my discord and uh, i have a patreon link I'll, I'll link from the video but you can see i've got uh, desert themed npcs i've got uh, natives and these, these ones I have in specific folders, so I know they won't ever get mixed in with other ones in a way that I don't want. But otherwise, I have all my NPCs sitting in here, and I use a common you know way to, to name them. I have NPC, what their race is, whether it's a girl or a boy. I don't use male or female because wild cards will pick up male even within female. I have general, so can I just drop this NPC anywhere, or do I have to be more specific? Some of them are more specific, like food vendors, like butchers. I don't just want to drop a butcher in anywhere. Um, and then I, as they get more specific, like mages or sailors or even a sailor captain, and then ultimately, what are their, whether they're sitting or standing, so that I can filter for that. So once I've named all of them, then I can come in here and actually build a path. So you'll end up picking a path. Let's say uh, we're doing a search for Goliaths. And we'll pick our first one and then you're going to come in here and you're going to change that go to the end and get rid of everything after goliath and just put a star there that's a wild card and everything before that needs to have a wild card if you just wanted to pull something generic out of the folder you just have a single wild card and nothing after it in this case i want to go for goliath and i'll use two wild cards and i do want him to be a little bit larger so you can see my goliaths are about 1.8 the size of a normal uh, thing. Oh, and I forgot to show you, you um, when you open up your prototype tokens, you do have to make sure this box is clicked, this randomized wildcard images. If you don't have that clicked, it won't work. So make sure you do that before you save it. And hit close. And now when you drag a Goliath out, you'll have these large Goliaths that are pulling from the same folder. Let me show you how to use uh, multiple wildcards. So I've got this mage standing. So I have a bunch of mages, but I only want the ones that are standing. So in my NPC folder, I did uh, wildcard mage, wildcard standing, wildcard. That'll pick up anything that's got both mage and standing in it. That's why I um, put my, my naming convention in a specific order is so that I can use this and it'll generally pick up all the tokens uh, in the set. But if I say, okay, now my mages are all standing. The last thing I'll show you is I do have a bunch of sitting uh, NPCs. I wanted to make sure that those um, those could be filtered all by themselves. So general, meaning I put them anywhere and sitting. And then, then once I have that, then I can just drop them into any chair, quickly rotate them, and I can populate my my taverns and bars really, really quickly. So uh, hopefully you guys learned something. Uh, go grab these NPCs if you'd like, and otherwise have fun making your maps.